Yes, what I go on, what I go on to all my nice and decent people out there. Thank you very much for coming and joining me here on Renegade Crew TV. I just wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about the news. All of Rihanna, Army, and the Gaza fans, them. Rihanna, on a recent interview, said that she has been ready to do her new reggae dancehall centric album right and and she is ready to work with individuals like of course the uh, king of dancehall Beanie Man um, she's ready to go ahead and do some work with Sean Paul she's supposed to be doing some work with with none other than Vibes Cartel. You know, it's, it's rumors and mentions of rumors <laughs> that um, Rihanna says that she wants Vibes Cartel to be on. She wants him to be on her album in multiple multiple tracks she wants him to do an intro it said that she actually wants him to do of course a verse on the album and to also do a a chorus now we don't know or it's not been it has not been said that she is going to have him all on one track and he's going to do the intro for the track the chorus for the track and for and also do a verse on that one individual song it could be different um different aspects of the album it could be the one song could be two it could be broken up we don't know but riri it says that she um, has been, you know, working on some things. She has been um, getting uh, Fenty off of the ground. And, uh, well, it's well more than off the ground because she's a billionaire now. You know, Rihanna is way surpassed just it just coming off of the ground. But she has some other projects that she was working on. She had um, done a couple of movies. Um to note one of those movies was Ocean 8 so she has been working on doing some things and right as now she doesn't have a release date but yes if you are a Gaza fan and you are a Rihanna fan you will hear um, you would definitely hear a Vibes Cartel on the new album you know it, she wants to go ahead and do collaborations also with, you know, The Party Next Door, The Dream, uh, Little Nas X. So it's it, it, it sounds like it's going to be a real good hit. You know, it, of course, you know, she's going to have a, a mix of everything together on this album. But she's, she's, she's collected hundreds of records with dozens of dancehall producers. You know, um, to mention one was Super Dupe. And everybody knows uh, Super Dupe, so uh, I don't need to go in any, any further on that. But, yeah, she's going to be working with, you know, many artists on on the new album, which she's going to be calling R9. So, I want everybody to... Take their time and listen out for the new Rihanna album. Well, you already know when it comes out, it's going to hit. It's going to hit like a storm, like a hurricane. And like Shabba said, famous quote from Shabba, he said, DJ is cock up when he hear boom rhythm. And I know the fam's ears is going to cock up when they hear Rihanna's 
new album, R9. Look out for that. Now, moving on from that, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Popcorn and Movado. Hmm. Recently, Popcorn trolls Movado on Instagram. Because Movado went ahead and posted a video with him and his mother. Uh, where my father was talk, where my father's mother was talking to him about how long he started the music thing, and it was his grandmother, her mother, that started him in the music with in the church with singing hymns, and well. Popcorn find sees sees this and then you you know the situation because okay? if you you follow you follow the unruly boss you already know that um um Pop Skull he posts a lot of videos on his Instagram page with him and his mother and family and daughter and stuff like that all the time. Right? So, you know, he posts he posts his thing trolling Movado telling Movado who wants to be like him you know everybody get exactly what he's talking about when he says that but some fans are saying you know the unruly boss might not want to go ahead and jump against Movado cause everybody done know already since in um, 2009 what 16, 15 Movado and and popcorn was supposed to have a big big clash right and popcorn ran from the lyrical clash with Mavado in 2016 so i don't know i don't know if um Mavado, um is going to clap back at, at popcorn we'll see what happened because you know he didn't take no time to put a song together when when Drake mentioned him in a song. So, I don't know why, but Popcorn did it. Now, that's between them. Uh, we we know, of course, Popcorn and Drake are friends, and, and that's probably the, the biggest and most number one reason for the situation. But we'll see what happens, you know? And you are you already know that they you know Movado and Popcorn had has been you know rivals for a long time, and you know he's been you know jumping on Movado on going back and forth with Vibes Cartel, you know after um, the situation between Movado and Vibes Cartel, you know they even though. Vibes Cartel and Movado seems like they 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 bury the hatchet as they bury the hatchet. It's, it's like there's an underlying thing there that it just doesn't go away. You know what I mean? And and of course because Movado bring out people like Jamil and Alkaline, they always in a big clash between them. And Vibes Cartel and all the guys are cool. So Popcorn is not, he's hes not new to the game when it comes to the clashing. But just, you know, like some, like again, like the fans have saying, you know, the last time they were supposed to clash, Popcorn ran away. I don't know. What do you think? Go ahead and comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notification. And like I say all the time, I want everyone to live good, be good, and goodbye.